Alright, I just thought I'd take a quick video on my truck. It's a 2000 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, I have a 4 inch lift, uh, 35 inch tires, uh, American racing rims. Uh, the tires are Nido Terra Grapplers and those are $251 a piece online. So really expensive. Uh, Rancho Shocks. It's the uh, Sport Package V8. It's got the 318, not the 360s, so you won't uh, be struggling to get 10 miles of the gallon like you would with the 360. Um, I rhino lined the whole bottom of the truck, and that way it's got no rust whatsoever. Uh, you know, it's got a few dings, you know, nothing bad or whatever. The worst are just those three right there. But, uh, you know, it's a truck. Um, I just redid the uh, trailer light hookups. I got a 6-inch drop hitch, uh, access roll-up tonneau cover. Uh, I'm actually getting a sticker for the back made that says Mopar Performance. And uh, you can see in the bed here, the bed's rhino line too by... White Bear Lake or whatever, and I have a spare 35 inch tire. Right now, I have it straight piped. I have long tube headers, and it's straight piped out the back. Before, I had this glass pack and the uh, catalytic converter on there, so if you ever want to put that back on. Um, see, you got a uh, stainless tip. Back tires, tread's actually pretty good. Um, which is good because you don't want to replace 35s. Bushwhacker fender flares in the back. I have long tube, or not long tube, uh, running boards. You can see under here my exhaust that this is a piece of pipe that we just put on. And actually, you can see if you wanted to ever run true duels that they run actually all the way back to here. So it'd be very easy just to run it all the way out the back. Um, the truck's got a full sound system in it. I have the uh, amp right here, and I actually have a custom made box here that uh, fits under the back seat without you losing any leg space whatsoever. And I'll show you the subs there kicker CVTs, uh, pound pretty good for being tens, and obviously being in a truck, it's a little hard. Um, I'll show you the uh, radio. I have Skosh high definition speakers in the front that sound actually very good. And then I have Pioneer speakers in the back, 6x9s in the front. Uh, uh, I have an, this is an 8.3 inch touchscreen power acoustic radio. Uh, it's actually the uh, biggest one that they make, flip out one, any company. You can see it's very cool. Um, yeah, and then I'll just flip it back out for you. You can play DVDs on it. You can get an iPod hookup and play music videos right from your iPod. Or just regular videos from your iPod. Um, you can hook up, like, satellite navigation. If you had a backup camera, you could hook that up. Hook USB up. Uh... Obviously CDs, you can hook TV up. It's uh, pretty crazy actually. Uh, I'll play a song for you just to, so you can hear it. Um, let me see here. Okay. Um, I have the uh, 
split back window. I know people get a little nervous about it rattling and so did I. I actually weather stripped it so it uh, doesn't rattle really at all which is nice. Uh, it's not like your car when you're going to be going down the road and the trunk's going to be rattling unless you spend hundreds of dollars on Dynamat. Um, this is a four wheel drive which works really good. I hooked up a Hypertech programmer. It uh, It's supposed to add like 8 horsepower, 14 torque and I actually get uh, two and a half miles to the gallon better than I did before. Um, some other options, I guess I got fog lights, cruise control, um, obviously the split back window, AC works good, heat works good. I actually just got a new AC compressor, so that's nice. Uh, I got a remote for the uh, radio too. Um, oh, I have tweeters up here. Uh, power windows, power locks, uh, I actually have heated mirrors. And I'll just start it up for you here. Uh, you can see I don't have any warning lights on. It drives me nuts to have warning lights on. The only, I don't, I actually, the only thing I've ever had a warning light on for is my uh, oxygen sensor, which we replaced. So it's actually ran very good for me. Uh, I'll come out here, I'll put the uh, camera down and let you listen to the exhaust a little bit. Uh, I'll go pop the hood for you now. Uh, as you can see under the hood, I have a K&N intake, and it's not one with the box around it, so you get a lot of airflow. Um, we just replaced my motor. It's actually the old motor. All it needed was uh, heads, but we found this motor pretty cheap. The motor actually only has... Well, when we got it, 82,000 miles, so now it's got about 84,000, I guess. Uh, this thing had a rebuilt tranny put in at 80,000, so that's got about 55,000 miles on it. Shifts really good, no BS. I know everyone's worried about the trannies in this thing, so was I. But uh, before I bought it, a mechanic owned it and uh, kept it in really nice shape. Um, yeah, and I guess that's about it. Uh, the only other thing, uh, we're putting a brush guard. I, me and my buddy are welding some brackets and we're putting a big brush guard on the front. Uh, awesome truck, big lifted up, if that's what you're into. Um, 14 or, I think 14 or 15 inch wide tires if you go from the walls, which are crazy. But it looks very cool from the front. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching.